Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. Ali Baba was a poor woodcutter who lived in Baghdad. One day he was cutting wood in the forest when he heard the sounds of horses. Scared, he hid behind a large tree. Soon he saw forty men ride up to a huge rock in the middle of the forest. Seeing the masks that covered their faces, Ali Baba thought they must be thieves. The chief of the thieves got down from the horse, walked up to the rock and said loudly, Open seize him! To Ali Baba's amazement, a hidden door opened in the rock. The men went inside carrying bags laden with wealth and the door closed behind them. A while later, the men all came out. The chief said, Close, see same. And the cave was sealed shut again. Ali Baba waited till he was sure that the thieves were not returning. Then he softly walked up to the cave and said the magic words. Open Sisem! The door flew open. He entered to find the cave full of riches. He was sure that no one would believe his story. So, he quickly filled a few bags with gold and carried them outside. Then he said, Close Sisim. Once the door was shut, he hurried home. At home, Ali Baba told his wife and brother Kasim everything that he had seen. They had enough gold to live comfortably, but Kasim was greedy. He wanted to take more gold from the cave for himself. The next day, Kasim went to the cave alone without telling anyone. When he entered the cave, he was astonished to see the gold, jewels and other riches piled high. Kasim ran from one pile to another, gathering as much gold as he could. But when he wanted to leave, he could not remember the words that opened the door. Just then, the thieves returned to the cave. Seeing Kasim there, the chief killed him at once. Ali Baba was worried when Kasim did not return home that night. He looked everywhere and finally went to the cave in the forest. There he saw that the thieves had killed Kasim. He was very sad. He quickly returned home with Kasim's body. Ali Baba and his family told everyone that Kasim had fallen ill and died suddenly. They quietly buried his body 
and decided never to return to the cave. In the meantime, the thieves had heard that the poor woodcutter Ali Baba had become a rich trader. They said, surely he too knows about our cave. The chief of the thieves made a plan to kill Ali Baba and his family. He brought 39 jars and made his men hide in them. He said, when I give you the signal, come out and kill everyone. Pretending to be an oil merchant, the chief of the thieves went to Ali Baba's house and said, I am an oil merchant and need a place to stay. Can I stay here for one night? Ali Baba invited him in and placed the jars inside the courtyard. But Ali Baba's servant Marjina was very clever and heard the thieves whispering to each other. She heated up a huge bowl of oil and poured it into each of the jars, killing the thieves. Later that night, the chief of the thieves signaled his men, but no one came. He pulled out his dagger to kill Ali Baba, but an alert Marjina quickly stabbed him. Ali Baba thanked Marjina for her quick thinking and married her to his nephew. Thanks to the cave in the forest, Ali Baba's family was never poor again.